sad story to start this half hour with. A man killed while simply cleaning out his car, and now police want to know why. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell, and it is a case we've followed since Friday and new tonight. The victim's family tells 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell they have a theory, and it should serve as a warning. What is a life worth? It's a question the family of a young man killed here on Asbury Park is asking. The uncle of the victim says he was killed over a pair of sunglasses. It's just it's unimaginable that this has uh, happened to our family. Michael Martin says his family never expected to face such a loss. This is a picture of his nephew, 27-year-old Frank Brown IV. On Friday around 6.45 in the evening, he was being kind, detailing his girlfriend's mother's car here on Asbury Park. Police say four men, possibly in a gray SUV, drove up. His family says they stole his Cartier sunglasses and shot him multiple times. He was rushed to the hospital but passed away on the operating table. Caring, thoughtful young man um, who always, always looked out for his friends and family. And um, his goal was just that everyone around him would win and, uh, and do something positive with their life. Martin says he is speaking out because his family wants answers. The killers didn't just take sunglasses. They took the life of a young man working towards dreams of making a difference by renovating houses in Detroit. They want the people who killed this man to face justice. What we're going through right now is like real, you know, pain and grieving and, um, and suffering. Um, I mean, I just don't want to see, you know, um, anyone else have to deal with this. The family has set up a GoFundMe account to raise money for funeral costs. Detroit police tell me they still have not made any arrests. They're asking for the community's help. If you have information that could help in the investigation, you can call Crime Stoppers. All calls are anonymous. The number 1-800-SPEAK-UP. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Hopefully somebody knows something and comes forward. Kim, thank you.